honestly want to jump right in. I don't know why I'm a little bit more excited about this one than the last unboxing we had, but we're getting ready to get into a Kiera Sky acrylic kit. Okay, so let's just jump right on into our shout out. So these are the first four people who commented on my last video. So congratulations, you four will be thrown into the draw to possibly be the winner of this giveaway for this series to be able to pick one of the kits that I unboxed for this series. And if you would like your name to be thrown into the draw, all you have to do is turn your post notifications on so you can possibly be one of the first four people to comment on one of my videos in this series. Okay, so this video is all about this Kiara Sky acrylic series system nail kit so i purchased this kit directly from um kiara sky's website and it came up to well before tax and shipping and everything it was at 188 dollars i will say that this is the most i ever spent on an acrylic kit ever this kit was almost 200 dollars. yeah look how big the box is it's bigger than my head so I think we could be working with something. So I ordered this kit on the 8th of March and I received the kit on the 15th of March. It got to me right at a week. But before I take anything out of the box, I just want y'all to see inside of the box. This is how it looks when I first open it up. We got the little pink foamy foams. You can make it rain a little bit. But already looking inside of this box, I understand why this kit was almost $200. Right off the bat, look what we have. It's a size 12 acrylic brush. If you know Kiara Sky, you know their brushes are like $30 a pop, almost $40, depending on what size you get. So the price is understandable at this point. And look, we still have more. Like <laughs> we haven't even cracked the surface yet. So yeah, let's just, let's go ahead and get into it. I really feel like, this is like the luxury side of nails. Am I wrong? Okay, so starting off, this is the number 12 acrylic brush. And I usually, I think I have like a 10, a number 10 brush that I already have by Kiara Sky. So super nice. I'm going to go ahead and break that in a little later. But I can just tell you right now, like Kiara Sky's acrylic brushes are definitely a go-to if you're looking to like enhance your acrylic experience, <laughs> so to speak. So this is all of the different acrylics that comes with the kit. We get some nice size acrylic jars though we get two ounces here we have this is a cover acrylic it's called boba time and it is a nude color then we have another cover acrylic and this one is called pale pink this one is called glistening snow and i'm guessing it's a white this one is called sorbet and then we have a clear acrylic and even their little jars are so <laughs> fancy look at the tops Definitely gonna do some swatches on those. Out of this little box here, we have a top coat and a primer. And then, what is this? Oh, we have some cuticle oil, okay. I love a good cuticle oil. And then we have these buffers. We get 10 of them in a pack, along with two nail files with a 100 grit. And then uh, we have our monomer. So this monomer is, it says 16 fluid ounces. Y'all already know how expensive monomer is. So having 16 fluid ounces of monomer is definitely something I can live with. <laughs> An EMA monomer. That's what we need. No MMA. Okay, that's about everything. Now we can get into some swatches. Now for this nail set I'm getting ready to do, I'm going to mimic the series that I'm running on my TikTok right now. I'm taking different trending nail designs that I see on Instagram or on Pinterest and I'm just recreating them. Giving it a little DIY flair. I'm going to pick between these three pictures this is going to be my inspiration for today so shout out to all of the creators of these gorgeous sets and um yeah let's get into some swatches before we get to that we have to break our number 12 brush in just gonna slide this out now watch how quick i make a mess i already know it's gonna splash Ooh. yeah we got a little splash just gonna break it on in right here and then dump it in some monomer It looks pretty good right now. 
I need to crimp it though. And this is what I mean by crimp. So this is my number 10 brush that I already had. And you see how it's pinched right here? And you see how this one isn't? That's what I want. I wanna pinch this part in a little bit. You can see the difference from the side view. This one is pinched in and this one isn't. And trust me, that pinch makes the world of a difference in the body of your brush. So, so this is the tool that I use to crimp my brush. I do not know the name of this tool, but this is what it looks like. I honestly just got it out of a toolbox that's laying around my house. And I just take it, come right here, and we're just gonna press down and crimp it right on down. And already you kind of see like it was kind of curved up and now that curve has flattened a little bit and now they look alike. Look at that. So now you can really see like the difference in density. Look at the thickness in those bristles. So first off we have the white and now I can tell why it's called glistening snow because it has glitter in it. And next we have the sorbet. I actually like this shade of pink. It's really cute. And this one is pale pink. I love that. That's a nice cover color acrylic right there. And then we have Boba Time, which is a shade of nude. The last jar was clear acrylic and I'm really not gonna do a swatch on that because that's kind of self-explanatory, but yeah. That's what we got. So I wanted to put my tips on off camera. I use the same Amazon nail tips that I've been using for about two months now. These are like my favorite go-to tips nowadays. And I'm thinking I wanna go with this nail design because all of the colors that's in this nail set, I have in this Kiara Sky nail kit. So it just makes sense. Yeah, we're gonna try to recreate this look. So for this look, I'm gonna use Sorbet, Glistening Snow, and then the Clear, of course. I'm gonna start with the pinky. I wanna go ahead and get the pinky out of the way because it's like the weakest link <laughs> this is the finger that I dread the most especially doing on camera so we're gonna do the ombre look using this white uh oh and I might have put too much go ahead and flare it up And I'm not gonna lie, for a white acrylic, I'm really liking it. I didn't have to do too much of a chase with this white, so I'm not complaining too much. I wanna do just a tad bit more at the bottom. I was missing some, it's kind of dipping in the middle there. And that should do it. I'm gonna put it right here. Oh, and I really like this pink. Oh, I like her. Maybe I had too much monomer in my brush. We're gonna try to get control of this situation. cuticle kind of push it up a little bit and then we can like bring the rest down and that gave us a pretty nice blend look at that and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not even struggling with this bigger brush. I kind of like the number 12. So now I'm gonna go to the pointer finger. So in the picture, the pointer is a Frenchie and I'm just gonna use some polish, some gel polish to do the Frenchie. So we're gonna make the whole entire nail this pink. So I'm gonna try to do it in two beads. Let's see how that works out for me. Oh, 
Yeah, we're definitely going to need more than two beads. Okay, now for the cuticle bead. This took way more beads than I'm willing to admit. <laughs> Okay, so now for the two fingers in the middle. So I'm gonna use this Blooming Gel first and I'm gonna use this Perfect White by Madam Glam. I'm gonna put the Blooming Gel, let's do this finger. On the whole entire tip of the nail. Doesn't have to be a lot. And then we're gonna start all the way up here and kind of work our way down with it. I'm gonna try not to be so uniform. I always like stuff to be uniform, but it don't need to be. Ooh, maybe that was too big. Ooh. I'm keeping it, so what? And then I'm just gonna bring it on down the way they had it in the picture. It was just like that. And then we can cure that. I think I did this one like too blotchy and big. This one looks a lot better, but who's about to do it over, not me. So we're just gonna deal with what we have and do this ombre. Okay, so just like the picture, we're gonna take this pink and I'm gonna start right here in this middle and start with a blend on the sides. Oop. That looks nice. Ooh. Oh, that turned out really good these sides in. Oh, I like that. And now I'm just gonna cap it off with this clear acrylic. I already capped the others off. And I really, I'm really liking this acrylic though. And then we got a little dip in the middle, so I'm just gonna put like a medium size bead. Not really a medium, but kind of like a small. Wait for it to pearl up. Put it right there in the middle. To even everything right on out. So I'm not gonna lie, I filed my nails off camera, but if you guys want to see an in-depth video of me filing my nails, I will do a video specifically on filing, on how I file my nails down, because I don't think I have one like that out. I think we're good to go to start buffing. Now, this kit came with 10 buffers. I'm just gonna take some cuticle oil and drop a couple drops on the nails and just rub it in and then start buffing.
Okay, so now we're gonna work on this French tip. Now I'm gonna show you guys the easiest way I know how to do a Frenchie. I used to struggle with this. So I just start off with a line in the middle, in the center, and I put it as far up as I want my French line to go. I want it just about right there. And then I just go down the sides and do one clean line down the sides and then i just go on each side and just connect it to that line and kind of curve it out And then I just fill everything else in. I'm probably gonna need two coats for this, but you guys get it. Now in the picture, they also had rhinestones on the nail set. So I'm gonna be using the rhinestones that I purchased from Amazon and this is how they look. As you can see, I did not have the crystals to put on the pinky or that one rhinestone to put on the pointer like they had in the picture. So we had to improvise and I just put a cherry on the pointer finger and then just a few rhinestones on the pinky. Then we got our top coat cuticle oil and we are all finished and ready to go i really like this kit i like the fact that they give you so much monomer and on top of that you get five two ounce jar acrylic i do think this kit is worth the price now as far as quality wise this definitely gets like a 10 out of 10 for me but i'm not gonna lie i do favor not polishes acrylic system over this one if we're talking about the quality and the consistency of the acrylic but i still like it Sierra Sky's acrylic system like it's still good it's great so far out of all of the acrylic kits that I have reviewed from this series I will put Kiara Sky at number two under not polished but we still have some other acrylic kits to review so this order might change I don't know so make sure you are subscribed so you can stay tuned to the very end of this series to see all of the different kits that I unbox and review but just for one last look this is the nail set that I did and this is the the one that i found on instagram you guys let me know how did i do rate it in the comments down below so if you made it this far it means that you watched the entire video and i just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart but for next week's video we will be unboxing a valentino nail kit which is in this little box right here so make sure you stay tuned for that video on next week and if you haven't seen my previous videos from this series make sure you go check them out good luck to everybody that's trying to enter this giveaway but anyways um i will see you guys in my very next video on next week